It's good to. Wait. You want anything? I didn't get it wrong. Plus one x squared over uh, three times two, which is going to be six. But wait a minute. This is wrong. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> I'm here to support Marine Mass. Okay. I got my boy here, a whole pack of 56. So, of these he, his things. name is Chris Kellerman, Christopher Kellerman. So, please subscribe to his channel. Oh, wait, do you have a channel? Look, he just got like a Heck full yeah. pack of, uh, you know, markers. So, I'm very happy about that. You know, we got supporters all mm. over now. <laughs> Heck yeah. Okay, subscribe so. to this channel if you haven't already. Leave okay, a comment, so. please. This guy is lit. He's awesome. This video is sponsored by Chris Kellerman. Hello everyone, so today we're doing a little bit something different, you know, like uh, we're going to do um, integrals for dummies. So basically, somebody's going to come in and it's going to give me an integral problem or just some sort of calculus problem. And I'm going to try to solve it with the best of my ability. If I get it wrong, well, I'm going to get punished. <laughs> so uh, go ahead, my friend Matt is going to write down a problem here. Okay, so let's see what he's going to do. Uh, okay, integral of, all right, ln x x ln x dx okay it doesn't seem like a very tough problem so let's see what we could do i mean we could do integration by parts right or in tabular integration right so we could do the di method so let's do the di method so we're going to differentiate and then we're going to integrate so right over here okay we're going to choose our u to be ln x right so this is going to be ln x and then x is going to be our dv so we're going to integrate x okay so we're going to differentiate ln x once, which is going to give us 1 over x, right? The derivative of uh, ln x is just 1 over x, all right? And then the integral of x squared is going to be what? It's going to be, I mean, the integral of x is going to be x squared over 2. Okay, so we're going to differentiate this once again. So let's see what we get. Uh, this is going to give us negative 1 over x squared. And this is going to be x cubed over 3, over uh, 3 times 2, which is going to be 6. But wait a minute. This is wrong. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> All right. So let's redo this. Okay. So how about, <laughs> how about we choose to, okay, how about we choose to differentiate uh, <laughs> x, okay? And then we choose to integrate ln x. We could do that. Why not? Yeah, we could do that, definitely. All right, so let's differentiate x, which is going to give us 1. Differentiate 1 is 0. Okay, that's cool. Now, let's try to integrate ln x once. Okay, so well, the integral of ln x, we have to use in integration by parts again. So we have to do another di over here. So differentiate, integrate, right? So we're going to find what's the integral of ln x. So we're going to differentiate um, how about, because we're going to have something like this, right? So it's ln x dx, right? And we have 1 times dx and ln x. So we have to choose to, our u to be ln x, right? So that's going to be ln x. So we're going to differentiate ln x, and then we're going to integrate 1. So the diff, uh, derivative of ln, ln, of, ln of x is going to be 1 over x, right? Integral of 1 is, well, x, right? Now, right over here, so, okay. <laughs> No, it's right. It's totally right. Uh, we have plus minus, right? So this is yeah, yeah, yeah. x times x, right? It's x ln x, right? Sure. Minus okay. the integral of, of, right? The integral yeah, yeah, yeah. of 1 over x, x times x times x dx, yeah, which is going to give us just x. Yeah, there we go. It's x, okay? So the See? answer is x. X ln restart x. Thank you so video. much. Thank restart, you so much. Restart, restart the <laughs> I didn't make a mistake. You did make a mistake. But you, uh, you flinched. Did not need to integrate it. That's the answer. This is not the answer. That You're, is the answer. No, it's no, not the no, answer. No, 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 no. Because look, he's doing this over here. So, and don't forget plus c, right? Don't forget plus c. All right. So, in, in uh, total, we have x squared over 2 ln x minus x squared over 2 plus x squared over 4 plus c. 
So that's our answer for this integral. Is that right? I don't think it's right. What do you mean you don't think it's right? Let me know what the actual answer is. Well, it's because Wolfram, Wolfram Alpha does it differently. Wait, this is the integral of x log of x, log base no, no, 10. No, no, but Wolfram Alpha does it. So <laughs> well, don't trust Wolfram Alpha, OK? <laughs> so, <laughs> even, <laughs> wait, <laughs> even, even Black Fan, Red Fan says it. Don't trust Wolfram Alpha, OK? So, okay, are, you're right. I don't, so trust, trust me, this is the integral, OK? You can check it. Do it uh, as an exercise. I leave it to you as an exercise, all right? Next problem, come on. You want to do Give me anything. Matter? Give me, give me anything. I'll try my best. Which one? <laughs> so basically, they're, they just got the, uh, the new calculus textbook and they're just yeah. like looking for the hardest problems to give me so I can do their homework. See? These people are mean, man. Okay. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay. <laughs> okay. Very interesting. Okay. I believe that's fine. Hmm. Okay, so we have <laughs> the integral of 26 <laughs> over, what's this, 9? 9 plus x. We know that the integral of, okay, over 1 plus, you know, x squared, dx, is equal to what? Tangent inverse, okay, of the, of, the um, of x, right? Plus c. All right, now, the problem with this is we have different numbers in here, right? So what we have to do, okay, we have to find a different uh, formula for this. And I believe the other formula is the um, integral of... You can subtract it. What's that? You can subtract it. Subtract what? The what do you mean? Like make it two, two different, two separate integrals. You don't need to. I mean, you probably don't need to. No, you, can't do, you, can't, you cannot uh, split this into two different integrals because this is like one, this no, is I'm one, the numerator is only one term and the denominator so is two terms. Not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. I'll tell you after. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I mean, you can get the 26 out, that's for sure. Yeah, you can get the 20, because it's just a constant, right? So this is basically uh, uh, 26 times the integral of 1 over uh, 9 plus you x squared dx. We have a formula for this. You, ha you had a problem yeah. for this? Oh, that's... I get a book, wait, I have a <laughs> oh, okay. See, we have, like, everybody wants to help us, all right? So, <laughs> okay. We don't want to help us, so we can help us. So basically, okay, the uh, formula for this is going to be integral of 1 over a squared plus x squared dx is going to be equal to, um, I believe it's 1 over a times tangent inverse, right, of um, x over a, okay, all of this, um, and then, this of course, nine, plus right? c. Is this What's nine? that? Is this 9? This is nine, yes. So it's three squares. So oh, we, we got somebody, some new, uh, we got a new um, volunteer uh, here. He's trying to help us. His name is um, <laughs> Jeet. Oh, it's a, um, it's freshman, a freshman, oh, freshman, cool freshman, of yeah. Yeah, 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 freshman of mechanical engineering, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Freshman of mechanical engineering at, at uh, so NJIT. In, in my high school, I had like, you know, direct formula. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, but let's just keep doing this over here. So we have, oh, sorry. The integral of this is equal to that, right? We good? So we can base our answer from this over here. So let's go ahead and take that. So we're going to have. We can change this, okay, into this yeah, form, right? right? Yeah. Okay, so what happened? If you want the longer, you know, you want the explanation, it's over this. Like, we have derived formula. So, suppose you have integrals of this type. Yes. Like you have right now. Right, right. It's 1 upon x squared plus 3 squared. Okay. You directly yeah, yes. Put, you directly put 1 upon 3 tan inverse of 3 upon, sorry, yeah. x upon 3. That's it. Absolutely right. He is absolutely right. So, he said that this is basically 26 times the integral of 1 over the square of 3, right, So, which is 9, so we can just change that, plus x squared dx, and it's basically in the form of this. So we can just use this formula over here, right? I'm not going to go into the proof, you, that will leave you, that to you as an exercise, okay, but uh, that's going to be 26, okay, times 1 over a, and our a in this case, right, is going to be 3, so it's going to be 1 third times tangent inverse of x over 3, what's that? Plus c. And then and that's the answer. Over there, so. Yeah, we have the formula. But, well, thanks for showing me. You want you <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't get it wrong. Oh, Come on, man. You can refer it from here. What's that? You can refer it from this book if you have any Oh, thing. thank you, man. What's this book called? Uh, Mathematics and Statistics. Uh, in high school. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, right so yeah, uh, this is a very uh, you know recommended book. So check it out. 
It's very cheap on Amazon. Okay. Yeah, it's really, it's right? really like um, five What's that? bucks. The book. Uh, the book? Yeah. So Go ahead. All right. So next problem. This was too too trivial. <laughs> this was too trivial. <laughs> give me, give me, give me. This is gonna get. In. So like this is going to get uh, exponentially difficult. So. <laughs> All right. So my friend Matt is gonna give me another problem over here. All right. So, okay, then, uh, all right, <laughs> well. Come on, it's just, oh, oh, you took it out of the You know, um, differential oh, okay. equations? Differential equations? Yeah. Well, we, I, I haven't really taken the oh, uh, so differential so equations I, I class, but. Uh, I won't do that, though. You know, oh, okay, this, is, this looks like a very uh, interesting problem. <laughs> you know, you know I've, been thinking, <laughs> I've been thinking about solving this problem for a while. Uh, <laughs> okay, so, so, okay, I'm going to uh, refer back to black pen, red pen's uh, cover up method. So, <laughs> all right, so we have uh, the integral of x cubed plus x squared plus x plus 2 divided by, of course, two binomials x squared plus 1 times x squared plus 2 dx. So you, you say we, can use, we cannot use the cover up because if we do that, well, this is going to be imaginary numbers. Mm -hmm. Well, let, let, let's think about this. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I have to get support. It, Nobody knows how to solve it in this room. I've never seen how to solve it, but I'm pretty My friend sure. Lazar is going to uh, so find wait, out. Would you like, I can see that if you, if you see, you can combine those. So x, just forget about that part. x third plus x squared plus x plus 2. You can combine these two together, these two together, get x, x plus, plus 1. Just move a little bit over there so that yeah. they can see. Oh, I forgot he was a lefty. You can split them. So right here, x squared plus That's one. Right. You do like this. Okay, so this. It <laughs> doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> x squared plus two. So you're splitting, GX. you're splitting it up. Okay. Real genius behind body mass. <laughs> <laughs> plus one, x squared. <laughs> so he was just punished for nothing. Cancel, cancel, cancel. Okay, it looks like a very uh, cancel. Yes. So what's next? You can integrate this. You reduce Yeah, you can certainly do some u substitution now because that's because yeah, this is u sub. Uh, now this one is this also one easy to integrate because this is just this tangent one, inverse. This one is easy to integrate. It's going to be the natural log of x squared. Plus two divided by two. You Very see? nice, yeah. And this one's going to just take more time. You have uh, you have to do wait, wait, uh, partial wait, wait. But u is equal to um, okay, yeah, yeah. So u is equal to x. Yeah, so that's going to be ln of uh, x squared yeah, plus two. Right? This is this is no. This is one over x squared plus one, right? The x. Yeah, so you're missing one x. Are you sure? Because if you use u substitution, you need no, you don't need u substitution. This is the the integral of one over x squared plus one. Remember what it is? Oh, it's arc, arc. Tan tangent, arc tangent. Yes, arc so tangent it's of be x. This part right goes right here, plus arc tangent of uh, uh, of x. x. Yes, plus c. Plus c. So he got. Um, so we can write that. Okay, so he got ln of x squared plus 2 divided by 2 plus our tangent of x plus c. Yakshimash, zdrasbuti. So, <laughs> so today, uh, well, uh, my, my previous calculus teacher, Professor A. Omar Alasa, uh, challenged me to do a volumes of revolution problem that is very unusual. It's even more like, it's even weirder than the one we do about n line. So basically, he challenged me to find, okay, the volume of revolution that is generated, okay, by the curve, um, the square root of x, right? So whatever area is between the square root of x and x squared, right? So what we're going to do first is we want to rotate, okay, we're going to rotate x squared about the curve, the square root of x. How are we going to rotate this curve about the square root of x? That's the question. So that's the challenge, and then uh, hopefully we might do, um, you know, we might be able to do volumes revolution out of that. I don't know how, but I will figure it out. So yeah, that's the challenge. I'm going to be doing that at some point. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Remember to send it to your friends, and uh, see you next time.
Uh, that's it.